Good evening. Hi, good evening. Good evening. How are you? I'm fine. I'm fine too. Excellent. And tell me, how was your weekend? Um, pretty nice. It's pretty nice. Okay, excellent. Tell me, have you been Thanks. working on the platform, on the exercises? Yes. Okay. Uh, about the objectives to a person. To describe someone, yes. That's something that yes. we are going to be doing today. We are going to be describing. Uh, it can be either famous people or ourselves, okay? Uh, but have you had any problems working on the exercises or is everything clear for you? Mm, in the moment, no. Okay. Okay, perfect. So we are going to begin. Good evening. Hi, good evening. ¿Qué pasó, Giselle? Dígame. O sea, eh, Con la lección, ya le comento cuál. Ok. 4.6. La 4.6, va, permítame, déjeme ir. Ah, ahí o sea, no. Oops, sorry, okay. sorry. Uh -huh. 4.6, you said. Quiero sí. ver, 4.8. Ok, knowledge check. Ajá. ¿Qué pasó ahí? ¿O ¿Cuál eh, es el problema? No logré, o sea, identificar, o sea, bien la pregunta de la 3 y de uh -huh. la 5. Sí, vaya, yo ya había corregido eso y no sé por qué me sale siempre mal. Y la 5 dice. Ajá. Ok. Ajá. Yes, because we are asking about his physical appearance. And because I'm talking that he is tall and very good looking, I have, how does he look like? Okay, yo le puse acá como en la respuesta decía tall, entonces la pregunta también le agregué tall, entonces ahí está el detalle, ya lo vi. Ah, y en la okay. tres sí la tengo igual, así como, como tenía ahí, pero no. No, pero aquí no es eso. Sorry. I remember okay. that I have what color fixed is it. Shan? Yes. What color is Sharon? Sharon or Sharon's hair? Sharon's hair. Okay. So let's see now. Okay. So there I go. Sí, sí, yo me acuerdo que ya la había corregido. No sé por qué me salía así. <laughs> Okay. Probably because I did it on my cell phone. Okay. Ah, pues sí, eso sería todo. Thank you, Araceli. You're welcome. Okay. So that's what we are going to be doing right now. We are going to be working and practicing about appearance. Okay. Um, so we have here the first information. Hold on. Okay, not a problem. If you haven't started working on section four, that's okay. Um, vaya, me preguntaban cuando terminamos módulo. Nosotros estamos terminando el módulo o clases el 10 de diciembre, si no me equivoco. Let me check. Yes. Jueves de 10 de diciembre estaríamos haciendo ya lo que es el final test. Okay. Y ese día terminamos el preintermedio 2. Y a ustedes irían a lo que es. Veamos qué nivel. Pre intermedio 3. Pre intermedio 3. Okay, excellent. And tell me, ¿cómo se han sentido hasta ahorita? ¿Sienten que es muy difícil? ¿O está fácil todo? Es un poco complicado. Es muy difícil. Why is it complicated or difficult? Mm, Alguna semana de pre Es simple, o eso de los tiempos, pero usted lo explica súper bien, así que sí lo entiendo. Ok, thank you. 
Sí, estaba viendo que estamos teniendo bastantes problemas con los tiempos o con lo que es el uso del do y del das. Um, vamos a ver cómo reforzamos eso un poquito, ¿verdad? Porque sí, está, digamos, por ejemplo, ahí el pronombre y estamos usando otro que no es. A veces yo entiendo que porque estamos trabajando en el teléfono o estamos también, vamos a la carrera en la plataforma, ¿verdad? Dejamos un espacio extra y eso nos hace que, que no salga malo. Vaya, en mi caso estaba que yo ya lo había corregido en el teléfono, pero no sé por qué siempre me salía incorrecto. Ok. Va, vamos entonces a hacer un repasito de lo que es del do y del das. Déjenme ver dónde está esto. Permítanme. Because I, that's something that I have noticed. So, just hold on. Let me see, so here it is. Okay, so I have here this presentation that is about the simple present tense. Um, you're going to see that here I have basically the uses and the rules, also how to make questions, how to answer those questions, for example, we have the first part that says English grammar rules. So let me see. Mm, ¿Quién se me está durmiendo? No, no quién se me esté durmiendo, okay? Um, Edwin. Okay, so I'm going to make a oh. review of the simple present tense. Can you read the first information, please? Okay, English grammar rules. The simple present tense is used to describe an action that is regular, true, or normal. Excellent. We use... Continue. Okay. We use the present tense for repeat or regular action in the present time period. Period. For period. For facts, for habits. Yes. Excuse me, sorry. For things that are always or general. Generally true. true. Okay. Generally true. Thank you. So you can see that here we have the use of the simple present tense. And as it says, it is used to describe an action that is regular, true, or normal. So here we have some of the uses that we are going to give to the simple present tense. And as it says, we have first of all, repeated or regular actions in the present time period. We have facts, habits, and things that are always or generally true. Teacher. Yes? What's the meaning of facts? Hechos. So for example, let me oh. see. Okay. We have the president of the USA lives in the White House. O sea, es un hecho que el presidente al ganar las elecciones se va a vivir a la Casa Blanca. Another example mm -hmm. that is a fact, un hecho, y siempre lo pongo así en ejemplo, como ejemplo, ¿verdad? El agua, dice la mayoría, ¿qué pasa? Oh. Ok, el agua moja, o sea, es un hecho. El fuego. Que... Ok, que... igual, es un hecho. Entonces ahí usamos lo que es. El presente simple. Okay, or you can say as well, uh, the sun rises every day. El sol sale todo el día. Muy pocas veces no va a salir. But here in our country, generally. yes, it generally rises. Okay, ahí es donde estamos hablando de lo que son hechos. Okay, and here we have repeated or regular actions in the present time period. Tenemos lo que son acciones repetitivas o regulares en el tiempo presente. So, Jocelyn, can you read the examples, please? Yes. Oh, me. 
Yes, please. I take the bus to work. The train to Berlin leaves every hour. John sleeps eight hours every night during the in during the weekend. The week. Oh, this. Okay, thank you. So you can see that here we have these examples that are about repeated or regular actions. So probably you can tell me, uh, okay, I take the bus to work every day. Probablemente ustedes se van en bus todos los días a trabajar. So, and some others may go by car, otros se ir en carro, pero es una acción repetitiva. So if I ask, how many hours do you sleep at night? What would you say? ¿Cuántas horas duermen ustedes en la noche? Seven. Normally, seven, seven hours. Okay. Eight. Eight. Oh. Usually. At night? At night? Two hours. Oh, Two? At night. Hours. Two hours? Yes. Wow. But in the morning, more or less three hours. Okay. So you're sleeping like around five hours a day? Yes. Okay, I understand that. I know what that is. So I'm glad <laughs> to know that I'm not the only one. Okay. Thank you. So I was explaining facts as well. So we're going to go to the next one that is habits. Um, let me see. Stephanie, can you read the examples, please? Okay. I get up early every day. Carol brushes hair thing. Teeth. Teeth. Twice a day. <clears throat> Sorry. They travel to their country house every weekend. Okay, excellent. So here we're talking about mm -hmm. habits. Estamos hablando de lo que son hábitos. I get up early every day. How many of you get up early every day? ¿Cuántos se levantan temprano todos los días acá de ustedes? Me. Okay. Me because I have class uh, in the morning at 6.45. Okay, so you have classes at 6.45 in the morning, so you get up early. Wow. Yeah. Okay. I have more people that said me. Okay. Oh. The, me. I okay. wake up five thirty. At five thirty. Sometimes. Yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, I'm. I'm not a morning. A morning person, honestly. To be honest with you, I. I don't like to wake up early. But I have to. I hate. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> yeah, I'm not a morning person. So sorry about that. So we have another it's, example. It's an habit. Yeah, it's a habit, honestly, yes. But since I'm going to bed around midnight or sometimes at 1 a.m., uh, it's oh. kind of hard for me to wake up early the next day, but I have to do it. But yes, it is a habit. So then we have Carol brushes her teeth twice a day. How many times a day do you brush your teeth? ¿Cuántas veces al día se cepillan los dientes ustedes? Three or four. Three or four. Three, four, once? Four. Five. Five? Okay, excellent. <laughs> so there we have some examples. Okay, so let me continue. Just give me, okay. So here we go. Okay, so here we have the following information. For things that are always or generally true. Um, okay, so three. I was here. 
Okay. Uh, Walter, do we have Walter here? Yes, no. No, I don't think he is here. So, Abigail, can you read that information, please? It rains a lot in winter. The Queen of England lives in Buckingham Palace. They speak English at work. Okay, thank you. So, here we have the next examples for things that are always or generally true. Estamos hablando de cosas que son siempre o generalmente verdaderas. So we have the first example that says that it rains a lot in winter. Llueve demasiado en el invierno. The Queen of England lives in Buckingham Palace. And they speak English at work. Okay? Hasta acá. ¿Está claro o tienen preguntas, dudas, quejas, comentarios? ¿O sienten que voy demasiado rápido? All just to quiet, sure. Ok. Eh, solo Araceli, eh, ¿nos podría enviar la presentación por yes. WhatsApp? Okay. I say the same. <laughs> okay, so I'll share the link. Le voy a compartir el enlace, ¿verdad? Please. Okay. Yeah, so I'll do Thank it. You. Thanks. You're welcome. I'll do it in a few seconds, okay? So here we have verb conjugation and spelling. Esto es algo que me imagino yo que ya ustedes saben, la conjugación de los verbos en tercera persona. Aclaro, ¿verdad? Eso es solamente para... Tercera persona del singular. ¿Quiénes son tercera persona? She. She. He. he, he, he it, and it. it. Excellent. Okay. So, we have the following information. Monica, can you start reading, please? Yes. We form the present tense using the base form of the infinitive without the two. In general, in the third person, we add S. Okay. The spell for the verb in the third person difference differs depending on the ending of that verb. Excellent. Thank you. So it says that we're going to form the present tense using the base form of the infinity, meaning without the two. For example, eat, play, sleep, study. Uh, drink, walk, run, and so on. But it says that in general, in the third person, we add S, okay? Para la tercera persona, dice que generalmente le vamos a agregar la S. So if I have eat, para tercera persona sería? It. It's. Drink. Because we add the letter S. Yes. Let's see. Drink. Drinks. Drinks. Okay. Another example. Walk. Walks. 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 Okay. See. 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 Okay. And let me think on another one. Run. Runs. Okay, excellent. Runs. Okay, so now it says the spelling for the verb in the third person differs depending on the ending of that verb. Okay, tenemos que el spelling o la forma en la que se va a escribir el verbo en tercera persona va a depender de cómo termina dicho verbo. So, can you tell me any rule that you know? ¿Alguna regla que se puedan o conozcan? The third person. Yes, for third person. Mm. En algunos casos podría ser cuando el verbo termina en Y, se escribe como I latina y se le agrega S. Ok, excelente. ¿Pero es con todos los verbos o con algunos? No, con algunos nada más. ¿Ejemplo? Cry. Ajá. Uh -huh. 
¿Y si tengo el verbo play? No. ¿Cuál es la diferencia entonces? Si los dos terminan Ay. en Y. Porque cons vocal in consonant no. Because the word only has a uh, one syllable. Syllable. Ajá. Uh -huh. Syllable. Yeah, syllable. Okay, so we're going to see that right now. Okay, I have the first one. Um, let me see who's going to read. Okay, Giselle, please. For verbs that end in O. C H S H S S X or C Z. Uh, we, uh, we add S in the third person. A uh, go, goes, catch, catches, watch, watches, wash, kiss, kisses, fix, wash, washes. Okay. A uh, kiss, kisses, fix, fixes, bus, buses. Okay, excellent. So you can see the first rule that I have says that for verbs that end in O, C, H, S, H, double S, X, or Z, we are going to add E, S in the third person, okay? Recuerden que esto es solo para tercera persona. So I have go, catch, wash, kiss, fix, and buzz. Si se dan cuenta, go termina en qué? Okay. okay. Oh. Catch termina en C A S Wash S I S Kiss S S Fix X and Buzz Z Okay. Entonces como están acá tienen esas terminaciones vengo y le agrego lo que es E S. So go becomes goes. Catch Catches, wash, washes, kiss, kisses, fix, fixes, and buzz, buzzes. Okay, any questions? It's the only words. Okay. What is your question? Uh, there is any more words. No, remember that this is for the verbs. Esto es para todos los verbos que terminen en O, C, H, S, A, E, H, etc. Mm. So, for example, I have do, que termina en O. Al Does. pasarlo, Does. okay. I have watch, el de ver, el verbo ver. Ese como me quedaría? Watch. Watches. 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 Okay. Sí. Es para todos aquellos verbos que terminen en O, C, H, C, H. Um, Estos son algunos ejemplos. Ok. There is any exception? No. For this, no. Oh. Para estos no. Solamente tengo que ver lo que es la terminación de los verbos. ¿verdad? Para okay. agregarle lo que es el ES. De lo contrario... Lo que vamos a hacer, como vimos anteriormente, es agregarle la S. Ok. Yes. So now, let's go to the next one. Um, let me see. Uh, Veronica, can you read it, please? Okay. For verbs that and I am concerned, place on who removes the. G and A L R I E S Mary Mars Sally Studies Carl Carlis Word Word. Okay, thank mm. you. So this is the one that you were saying, okay? Esta es la que ustedes decían. For verbs that end in a consonant plus Y. We remove the Y and not I, E, S, ¿ok? Si los verbos terminan en una consonante más Y, elimino lo que es la Y y agrego I, E, S. 
So, Mary, you can see, study, carry, and worry. I have consonant Y, consonant Y, consonant Y, consonant Y. So, according to this rule, I delete the Y and I add I E S. Okay? Si el verbo termina en consonante más Y, elimino la Y y agrego I E S. So, Mary becomes Mary's. Study, studies. Carry, carries. And worry, worries. Worry, sorry. ¿Alguna pregunta? No. Okay. Thank you. So, Franklin, can you read the last one, please? Sorry, sorry. Okay. For the ver for verb stats and in a vowel, and plus, I don't remember how do you Why? say it. <laughs> Why? Why? <laughs> we just add S. For example, play, plays. Enjoy, enjoys. Say, says. Excellent. Okay. So this is the exception that I was asking. Esto es lo que les preguntaba. Si aplicaba para todos los verbos que terminaban en Y o no. Okay, so if the verb ends in a vowel plus Y, si termina en una vocal más Y, the only thing that I'm going to do is to add S. So I have play, plays, enjoy, enjoys, and say, says. You can see vowel, Y, vowel, Y, vowel, Y. So I only add the letter S, okay? It's clear. Okay. It's fine, teacher. Thanks. You're welcome. So now I'm going to probably the, the part that you're having problems. Que me decían, el do, el does, or el don't, el doesn't. ¿Cómo voy a hacer entonces? So if I have affirmative and negative statements, it's going to be as this. So you can see, for affirmative sentences, when I have I, we, you, and they, the verb is going to be in its base form, okay? Siempre que yo hable de I, we, you, and they, el verbo va a ir en su forma normal. But if I'm talking about he, she, and it, aplico las reglas que acabamos de estudiar, okay? So you can see I have he works, she likes, it has. Cabe aclarar que has es un verbo irregular, lo cual quiere decir que no aplica las reglas que vimos. ¿Ok? Es el único verbo irregular que vamos a tener que no aplica la regla que acabamos, las reglas que acabamos de ver. ¿Ok? So, when we are making negative statements, we are going to use an auxiliary that is do or does. But since it is negative, we are going to use not as well. So, do not or does not, ¿ok? Y como estoy usando lo que es este auxiliar negativo, el verbo para la tercera persona que acá está con S regresa a su forma normal, ¿ok? So, let me see. Uh, Delia, can you read the examples, please? All the examples, examples, sorry. The negative. Okay. Uh, I don't work. We don't work. You don't work. They don't work. Uh, he doesn't work. She doesn't work. He doesn't work. Okay, thank you. We don't work. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Okay. So you can see that when we have I, we, you, and they, I use don't or do not. And when I'm talking about he, she, and it, I use does not or does not. And the verb goes back to its base form, okay? El verbo regresa a su forma normal. Es decir, no me pueden decir he doesn't work porque eso es incorrecto. Or she doesn't like 
porque igual no existe, or it doesn't does, ¿por qué? Porque ya aquí ese auxiliar negativo viene a hacer que el verbo regrese a su forma normal. ¿Es that ok? It's ok. Ok. ¿Preguntas? No. Ok. So, what about if I have questions? I have here yes, no questions. Um, Stephanie, can you read that information, please? Okay. Um, do I know? If, oh. Yes, please. Okay. Do I know? Do you know? Do we know? Do they know? Does he know? Does she know? Does it know? Okay, thank you. So when we're talking about yes, no questions, when I'm using I, you, we, and they, I'm going to use the auxiliary do. But if I'm talking about he, she, and it, I use the auxiliary does. Okay? No necesariamente vamos a encontrar a veces lo que es he, she, or it, porque a veces podemos ver lo que es un nombre, un nombre propio o un sustantivo. So, for example, si yo quiero saber o le quiero preguntar a Edwin si le gusta el café o le quiero preguntar a cualquiera de ustedes si a él le gusta el café, ¿cómo me formularían la pregunta? Do you drink coffee? No, um, does, for example, does no, Edwin no, does he like, like coffee? coffee? Okay, excellent. Okay. Does Edwin like, like, coffee. like coffee? Okay, does or he like coffee? coffee? Excellent. Does Edwin drink coffee or does he drink coffee? So you see? O sea, no puede ser, no, no siempre va a ser el he, puede ser el nombre propio de una persona, pero al saber nosotros que hacemos referencia a él, a ella o a eso, vengo y utilizo entonces lo que es el auxiliar, does. does. Ok, and since I'm using this auxiliary, the verb is going to be in its base form, ok. Como uso este auxiliar, el verbo siempre va a ir entonces en su forma. Normal. Normal. Is that clear? Yes. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay. ¿Alguna pregunta o duda? At the moment, no. Note at this moment, okay. So, give me a few seconds. Let me see. Okay. So, if I want to know the answer for the question that I just made, Um, does Edwin like coffee? ¿Cómo respondería? Yes, he does. Or no, he doesn't. Okay, yes, he does. Or no, he doesn't. Um, Abigail, do you like rock music? Yes, I like. Yes, I like. Or yes, I do. Yes, I do. Mm -hmm. Okay, so... Jocelyn Marroquín, ¿does Abigail like rock music? Yes, she likes. Yes, she? Yes, he does. He or yes, she? He does. She does. Yes, he does. He or she? She, she does. Ah, yes, okay. she does. Okay, excellent. <laughs> Probably I'm not listening that well. Okay. <laughs> Um, Jocelyn, do you like cookies? Cookies? Yeah, cookies? Yes, I do. Okay. Um, does Jocelyn like cookies? Yes, she does. Yes, she does. Okay, Monica, do you like soda? Yes, I do. Okay. Does Monica like soda? Yes, she does. Yes, she does. Yes, she does. Okay. Um, Giselle, do you like coffee? No, I don't. 
Ah, excellent. Uh, does Giselle like coffee? No, no she, she doesn't. doesn't. No, she doesn't. Okay, perfect. Um, Edwin, do you study French? No, I don't. Okay. Does Edwin study French? No, no, he, no doesn't. he doesn't. He doesn't. He doesn't. No, he doesn't. He okay. Doesn't. Um, let me see. Susan, do you watch TV a lot? Susan? Okay, so probably she cannot hear us. Uh, Janet, do you watch soap operas? Do you no, watch Simon. Do you watch soap operas? The novelas? Yes, I do. Ah, okay. Does Janet watch soap operas? Yes, she does. Yes, she does. Yes, she does. Okay, excellent. So you can see that that's the way how we are going to be answering yes, no questions, okay? So you can see that here we have affirmative and negative answers. So let me see. Jocelyn Marroquin, can you read affirmative answers, please? Okay. Yes, I do. Yes, you do. Yes, we do. Yes, they do. Yes, he does. Yes, she does. Yes, she. She. Yes. It. It does. <laughs> okay, excellent. Thank you. And negative answers. Um, Abigail. Yes. No, I don't. Yes, I do. No, we don't. No, they don't. No, he doesn't. No, she doesn't. No, it doesn't. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Vaya, esto es prácticamente una presentación que yo tengo de, de lo que es el presente simple, ¿verdad? Ya así como resumido. ¿Alguna pregunta? No. No. Is it clear now the use of the auxiliaries do and does? For me, yes. ¿Le queda más claro entonces? ¿Cuándo vamos a usar do y cuándo vamos a usar das? Yes. We use do when it's a third, a first and second. Person? In the simple present. Uh -huh. And does in a third person. Okay, excellent. Perfect. Okay, see, sí, prácticamente ahí va a ser la diferencia. El do lo voy a usar con quienes? Primera persona. Es decir, First person. I, you. I, I, you. I. You, 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 we, they, we, we, they, they, and they. they. He el does. He, she, he, 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 she, it. He, she, it, and it. Okay, excellent. With he, she, and it. Okay, perfect. So, any questions? No. It's clear. Okay. Thanks. You're welcome. Vaya, déjenme compartir ahorita el enlace. Quiero ver si lo logro copiar para mandárselo ya. Ok. Vaya, entonces vamos con lo que es la sección 4. Ok, and there you got it. Vaya, ya les envié entonces lo que es el, el enlace de la presentación que acabamos de ver. Okay, if you have any problems, please let me know. Okay, and as I, as I was explaining to you at the beginning, 
uh, we are going to start section four. And here we are going to be learning how to describe people. Okay, so we're going to watch this video and then you are going to describe someone you know. Okay, so let's pay attention. Hi, welcome to section nine. In this section, you will learn vocabulary to describe people. Look at the following pictures and repeat the adjectives of appearance after me. Hair, long brown hair, short blonde hair, straight black hair, curly red hair, bald, a mustache and a beard, age, young, middle-aged, elderly, looks, handsome, good-looking, pretty, height, short, fairly short, medium height, pretty tall, very tall. Looking. Okay, so you can see that here we have some expressions that we can use when we are describing ourselves or other people. So we have here, first of all, hair. Um, let me see, we're going to have um, Delia. Okay, can you read the description for hair, please? Okay, long hair, long brown hair, short blonde hair, straight black hair, curly red hair, bold, I mean, I think. Bold, yes. A mustache, mustache and beard. Okay, thank you. Uh, Monica, continue please. Age, young, middle age, elder. Okay, thank you. Douglas. Do we have Douglas here? Mm. Okay, I remember that he was here. Okay, so we're going to have Veronica. Me? Yes. Looks handsome, good looking, and pretty. 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 Okay, thank you. And the last one, Edwin. Short. Fairly short, medium height, pretty tall, and very tall. Okay, thank you. Okay, so if I start asking you, how do you describe yourself? How would you do it? Let's see, a volunteer. Um, let me see, let me see. Giselle. Okay. How would you describe yourself? Um, a long brown hair here, and, and middle age, and pretty, and um, short. <laughs> um, okay, so did you say medium height or short? Short. <laughs> okay, thank you. Excellent. I think Just so. said, <laughs> can you choose another person, please? Okay. Sandra. Okay, Sandra. How would you describe yourself? Okay, I have strange straight black hair and I'm um, middle age. I'm good looking I think and I medium height. Height medium medium height height. height. Okay, thank you. Sandra, another person please. 
Edwin. Okay, Edwin. Okay. I have a mustache and beard. And I'm middle age. And I consider it uh, a medium height. Medium height? Yes. Okay. And that's it? Um, my eyes are color brown. My hair is color... Siempre confundo el blanco o el negro. Black. Black. Yes. Yeah. Yes. White. White. And blanco. Yes. Yes. Okay. Sorry. And gray. Gray. Sería ya las con las canitas, ¿verdad? Pero yo creo que yeah. ahorita nadie tiene. Ay. Okay. <laughs> Oops. Sorry. No, but it no doesn't problem. look like. No, no se ven. Okay. La cámara. <laughs> ah. Okay. Excellent. So, Edwin, choose another person, please. Okay, let me see. Um, Franklin? Okay, Franklin, how about you? Okay. Well, I'm a normal, a normal person. <laughs> um, a simple person, okay. Um, I'm a normal hate. Um, black hair, black eyes. I'm very funny and very ex extroverted or extroverted. Ex extrovert. Oh uh, yeah, I'm very extrovert because I like to make a lot of friends. I'm very sociable, and um, only that. Okay, thank you, Franklin. Another person, please. Okay, let me see. Delia. Okay, Delia. Uh, my hair is blue hair red. <laughs> uh huh. Um, um, my skin, is, I think, is grown. If I say white, <laughs> but yes. I saw the color, the correct color. Um, um, no, I don't know. Young age, yes. <laughs> um, I think I I am really pretty, <laughs> okay. and my head is really short. Only. <laughs> okay, thank you. Um, okay. So you can see that you have made some descriptions and frankly also another way to say extrovertido is outgoing. If you are an outgoing person. Oh, es yeah, otra? but I don't remember about that. Yeah, esa es. Es otra forma de decir extrovertido, outgoing. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Okay. So now what we are going to do is the following. You don't need to tell us, okay? No nos van a decir. Van a describir a cualquiera de sus compañeros and the others need to guess who that person is, okay? So, Jocelyn Marroquín, vea bien a cualquiera de sus compañeros o compañeras. Nos lo va a describir y nosotros tenemos que adivinar quién es, okay? Okay. So let's begin. Mm, she is short hair. Short brown hair. She is or she has? Oh, she has. She, she has short brown hair. Is young. Is pretty. Um, is medium height, creo. <laughs> medium height? <laughs> medium height, yes. Okay, do you know who is she describing? Maybe Abigail. Abigail. Okay. 
Yes, yes. yes. <laughs> okay, excellent. So, Abigail, now is your turn. Just look at your classmates and start describing her or him. Okay, let me see. Mm. Um, she is um, cinnamon skin. Uh huh. Long brown hair. Uh, no, no, is we. <laughs> Uh, brown hair is a pretty girl. Uh -huh. um, let me see. Mm. Um, small eyes. Okay. Only. Do you know who is she describing? Um. She have, she have black have shirt. Have or has? <laughs> has, she has black shirt. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. so <laughs> who is she? She's Giselle. Giselle? Giselle. Yeah. Okay, excellent. <laughs> Thank you. Giselle, now it's your turn. Okay. Uh, he has, um... Mustache and beard and beard <laughs> and um brown eyes a uh, short a uh, black hair um pretty tall I <laughs> I think so <laughs> pretty uh -huh, pretty tall. Okay, excellent. Who so, is? <laughs> who is Giselle describing? Who is she describing? Edwin. Edwin, yes. yes. Excellent. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> okay, Edwin, now is your turn. Okay. It's easy. <laughs> yes, because he's the <laughs> yes. only one that had, well, that we are looking at because Franklin doesn't have a picture. Okay, okay. excellent. So, continue, Edwin, please. She has uh she has a color sorry sorry she has um como se dice pelo medio corto sorry medio corto oh short hair short, short hair okay short hair, short hair. yes thanks and Maybe uh, he has a skin. She or she? She, she has a, a skin brown. Brown skin. Brown skin, sorry. Okay. And I think is she has a color eyes are black okay and i don't know <laughs> hmm. pretty woman <laughs> yes okay. Como todas. okay thank you mm. uh -huh. who do you think she it's is Corley? It's very young. She's is very young. Okay. Does she have curly hair? Sorry? Some of your classmates were asking, does she have curly hair? Curly? Or straight hair? A straight hair. Okay. Veronica. No. Stephanie? Stephanie. Yes, Stephanie. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thank you. 
Okay. And the last one, Stephanie. Okay. Well, um, she has a curly hair. Uh huh. Um, I see. She has brown hair. Um, she has a white skin. Um, is a pretty woman. Um, I think is a medium. No, it's a short. Okay. So who That's is she? It. Who is she describing? Thank you, Stephanie. Maybe Monica. Monica. Delia. 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 Okay. <laughs> yeah. She said that she has curly hair. Cabello rizado o colorchito, ok? Mm -hmm. Excellent. Good. Um, ¿Preguntas hasta acá o está todo claro? It's clear. Clear. Ok. Ok, excellent. So, no more questions, right? Vaya, y con lo que vimos del do y del das, ¿les ha quedado un poco más claro? Yes. Yes, ¿Sí? teacher. ¿Cuándo voy a usar el do entonces? Are you, are you day? day? Ok, excellent. ¿Y el das? She, he, 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 she, he, he, he. and it. Ok, perfect. Ahí veo que estamos bien entonces. Si estoy usando la forma negativa, es decir, el doesn't, ¿qué pasa con el verbo? Vuelve a su forma normal. Ok, perfecto. ¿Y si es interrogativa? It's the same. Uh, no. The, 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 the first. Interrogativa, el verbo va en su forma normal. Correcto. Interrogativa yeah. es lo mismo que pregunta. Okay, it's yes. only in affirmative sentences that we are going to apply the rules that we studied. Okay, ¿cuál fue la primera regla que vimos? Mm. We got S. S. At the S in the, yes. in the verb. Person, okay, excellent. ¿Cuándo le tengo que agregar ES? When. Finish it in O O O C H W S S H M X O X C. Okay, excellent. ¿Y qué pasa si el verbo termina en una consonante más Y? Means with other E S S. Okay, so I delete the Y and I add I E S. I -E -S. Excellent. Pero si termina in a vowel plus Y. No only S. Okay, only add S. Excellent. Okay. Alguna otra duda o pregunta? No teacher. Okay, perfect. All is clear. Okay, me parece. Okay, so if there are no more questions, we are going to stop here and I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Okay, okay. thanks. Good night. Tomorrow. Okay. Thank you. Good night. Bye. See you tomorrow. Good night. Bye. Bye. See you tomorrow. Good night. See you.